Howdy, uh, this is a review of my Ruike Knives LD43. It's a rescue knife, hence the bright green colour. But it's, um, I actually use it in the garden, and not because it's green. Uh, it's, uh, it's really good as a tool in the garden. It has a decent side blade, size blade. I, I do wish that the blade was a little bit longer, but it um, certainly does the job as it is around the house. Uh, I think this is Sandvik C12 stainless um, steel um, and I also have the same steel on my Bokka Tech Tool 8. Um, these are made in the same factory actually and this is a Bokka uh, Plus. This is um, they're actually made I believe in the Ruke factory. So it has G10 handles, bright green is a texture on this to make it sort of feel a bit more like my cutter uh, and some grippy sections up here which are actually pretty good um, overall the knife is quite chunky in the hand and uh, but the blade is, is pretty strong it has a, a liner lock and it's really easy to use you can use it one handed um, though I'm not a great knife user so I do get nervous <laughs> um, and there's a thumb stud here which is pretty good um, Looking at the rivet on the other side of the thumb stud, it looks pretty strong, but I, I suspect maybe over time this may weaken, it may need to be re-studded eventually. Um, especially if it takes any knocks when I'm working around the house. So I use this in the garden a lot, you know, cutting open bags of soil and cutting twine, um, carving up bits of wood. Um, I use it when I do woodwork around the house or if I do um, uh, any sort of labouring type work around the house, fixing things, conduit cables, cabling, all kinds of things. Um, one thing that I found out recently, which is really good, is that this rescue blade, which is primarily designed for cutting seat belts, uh, is actually fantastic for cutting up um, garden privacy screening. So just in case you don't know what that is, that's this type of material, and this just cuts through that really well, better than the knife does, and of course better than the saw would do. Um, let's speak about the saw. Now the saw, uh, is also really generous and really long. It's not locking, which I think is a bit of a bummer. Um, I haven't had it fold on me, but this type of design, uh, I think for a saw, because we typically saw forward and backwards in the West. Um, we're in Asia, they have saws that are designed to pull. Um, this saw, um, I think it'd just be better if it had a lock on it because it'd be, it'd be much more stable and it won't flip back on your hand like this when you push forward and it gets a grip. And if you've got the wrong technique at the time, you know, cut potentially, unless you're wearing gloves. Um, this saw is pretty good. It is um, the third best saw, but that does, that's by all means, is, doesn't mean it's bad. It's, um, it's actually really good. Um, this saw on this Bokka Tech Tool Plus is better, um, but uh, I think it's um, maybe luck of the draw because they're both from the same factory, I believe. But the best saw is actually on my Victorinox uh, Ranger Wood 55, I think it's called, 55. This is the best saw I've got. This one has more of a downward trajectory. That one's actually more likely to close in your hand. It is a really like, nice, uh, stiff slip joint, but um, and it cuts the best out of all those. Like this, this thing goes through stuff like it's made of butter. Um, really nice blade on this one too. Anyway, back to the rear gate. Um, so the saw is great in the garden, really handy. Also has this really generously sized wire cutter, bender, um, Stanley flathead screwdriver and can opener. I use this for opening up tins of paint, tins of varnish, etc. And also just doing screwing stuff in. It's been really good, really strong. Um, so it's done really good work with tins of old rusty tins of paint. Um, it has, what else does it have? It's got a glass breaker which I never need to use around the house. It has a Phillips head screwdriver on a T-section and that's, um, this is really stable, really good. Uh, I think it's actually better than the Bokka Plus one. Bokka Plus one is, it's pretty good, but I think uh, maybe it's just the bigger handle, just makes this more usable. Of course, that also becomes a weapon if you're uh, that way inclined. That'd be quite a good weapon, really. Um, <clears throat> and uh, that works really well. 
Though I do prefer a design where the Phillips head comes out elongated. I prefer to, to screw things this way. And it has this awl, which is eh, it's fairly decently sharp. I don't particularly like the design of it. It's um, it's a bit useless. Um, but it is a lot more firmer than the Bokka Plus one. The Bokka Plus one is pretty hopeless. It's really sharp, and the shape of it is pretty similar to that. But it's got too much wiggle. Um, this one is really, really firm. So that's actually usable if you have a reason to use an awl. I, I haven't really had one. All or nothing. Um, Alright, so this is the clip. I guess in an emergency situation you would hang this onto your paracord, you can hang it somewhere in your tent, your camping situation. Um, see a bit of rust here on the steel. Um, this is actually fantastic around the house because I use this to um, clip it on my pants or onto my equipment when I'm up high. That way I don't have to keep going down and getting stuff all the time. It's actually really awesome having a clip like this, especially this size, a big healthy clip. Um, so this is a really great gardening, houseworking tool. Um, this, this clip is pretty good. It's a bit flexible. I, it came stiff and I bent it up, but you can see it's actually quite flexible anyway. Um, I did that on purpose because I like it just to pop into my shorts really quickly and easily and then easier to get out. And I haven't had, uh, I've only had one situation where it fell out of my pockets because that was too loose for the particular shorts I was wearing. But most of my shorts are thicker in the pocket material, so I prefer having that a bit wider so it's just easier to get it, get clipped on and I can get back into doing other tool work. So it also has some tweezers which I don't use, I probably should have, but I just sort of forgot they were there. So when I get splinters, I just go into the house and get a proper pair of tweezers. Um, these are not so great. There's a lot of uh, bending action there, so you've got to get up close. And when you do that, you're losing power anyway. There's a limit to how much you can squeeze that together. So these kind of tweezers are never really good. They're just emergency tweezers. Okay, so let's just uh, look at the steel. And the steel has been pretty good, but I think, I think for a gardening tool, I would like a much harder steel on the knife particularly. Um, be great if someone actually made a gardening knife where the normal tools were perhaps a different steel but then the blade itself was a different type of steel to that that would make sense <clears throat> something a bit harder on the edge would be great it's easy to sharpen this up um, but it's not uh, it's not particularly well wearing i tend to sharpen it twice a week um, when i'm working around the house the bocker is the same steel um, it could just be that I'm not using it as much, but I find this one just for some reason keeps its edge a bit better. Um, yeah. Alright, so that's the Ruike uh, 43, LD43, and it has a liner lock. Um, it's pretty um, corrosion resistant, you've probably seen a bit of rust on it, but I actually wash it every time I sharpen it, and probably more often, like two more times, so it probably gets washed. When I'm busy using it, it probably gets washed about 40, sorry, about uh, four times uh, per week. Um, really good um, size of the, in the hand. Uh, the clip up front is, uh, I think it's probably better to have the clip up front like that because then it's um, it's it's on your on your top of your grip with your stronger fingers rather than irritating your weaker fingers. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> um, it is a bit chunky as a tool, I think. Uh, it's the only, the only downside I can see of this, and it doesn't have a set of pliers. But that's a plus because you should have proper pliers if you're going to bother bother doing any pliering. You need to have proper pliers. Uh, I don't think the other tool brands, multi-tool brands, with their pliers cut it. Um, you need to have proper pliers, I reckon. But um, this is pretty good. It's a great knife. I love just throwing it around. It's not too expensive, so. I literally just chuck it in places when I'm busy and can't be bothered putting it down. Just drop it. Um, I was a bit more precious about my my dress. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> my dressy one. And particularly this this wine. It's like a wine knife, so I look after this one better. Um, yeah, cool. Anyway, hope that's useful to you.